You guys check the last video before but well, first of all welcome back to stuck on an island i'm stuck with you guys here we are always smiling if you guys check the last video before we had some awesome eggs that were inspired by ras moko yo legendary when i watched the video a couple years ago i was just like yo it looks a little bit different but it worked but anyway we're gonna get into making some dinner right now belly full and everything um you guys know how i've always been i've always tried to make my dishes a little bit different i don't try to do everything conventional because if i keep cooking the same way it gets boring i don't care what nobody's gonna say it's gonna get really boring for me so i keep adding new stuff when i can so i'm gonna make a really simple stew chicken that has a couple ingredients that's gonna make it a little bit more special all right so i'm gonna get into that really quick show you guys the basic steps and then i'm just gonna enjoy the atmosphere that's here which is fantastic Basically what we're doing today is gonna be a one pot dish. Growing up, stew chicken was something that was very flavorful and would always take and stretch. So basically when you're doing a stew chicken for me, it was always how can I say? Any part of the chicken you could get. So the back, the wings, the legs, whatever, the breast, everything is chopped up you add a couple stuff to it but today I'm just gonna do the chicken I'm gonna add a couple potatoes to that so that way it's gonna be a one-stop meal you get everything in one don't mind my bandage at a little you know you're trying to film yourself and <laughs> cut stuff at the same time it's ridiculous so had that so I got bandage up really quick nothing too big But we keep pushing on because we gotta eat and finish our recipe. First thing I'm adding is this. I don't know. I added this to my stew chicken the other day without adding any fancy stuff to it. And trust me, these cloves, it, it just changed the whole game, bruh. It made it taste so good. Anyway, so I'm adding some cloves. Adding your basic soy sauce, of course. And you don't know, stew chicken is always a darker color. So I'm gonna add some browning to it. The reason why the browning is gonna be so important for that is because I'm gonna add a what we call green seasoning. So in the green seasoning is escalion, onions, bit of scotch bonnet, pepper, thyme, yeah. Oh, and garlic. So in other green seasoning, this is gonna help to make, for me, the seasoning or the gravy nice and thick, nice and rich, and at the same time help the chicken to marinate and have a nice flavor. Oh, so already, it's dark as you would expect chicken seasoning to add. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. Don't have any chicken seasoning, so I'm gonna add some salt. Salt is basically like one of the fundamental seasonings there is. And then a little bit of Mrs. Dash, that also has some seasoning and some herbs as well. I cook with what I have. If I don't have something, I'll figure it out. Just gonna add a little bit more salt. All right, 
right, so we got some coconut oil in the pan. I don't want to add too much coconut oil because I don't want my gravy to be too oily. And this is some New Zealand butter. Let me tell you, when this butter actually melts, it's, you could smell the dairy in the butter, yo. I keep saying it, but yeah, it's better than margarine, I would suppose. It's more expensive, but it's a vibe. Like I'll always say, don't throw everything in there at once because it's gonna make the oil get really cold. So I might just fry half of these first. I'm not gonna fry them too heavy, just a light fry, give them some color. And basically, the stuff is gonna be steamed down. Fry a little bit and get some color. And then we can do the next batch. For me, the key to my stew chicken, whenever I do it, I don't try to fry it dry. Don't want to fry it dry because the meat ends up getting a little bit too tough. So, slight frying, then we get to the whole steaming process. You realize already, just the sauce down here, it's nice and thick, not very oily. And that's because of the whole green seasoning and all this little niceness, you know? Or oh, it's smelling cuz. Nice. It's smelling like wow. The whole vibe, man. Whole different, different bunch of herbs. Yep. Compiled into one magnificent dish. So we're gonna make that cook down a little bit more before we start adding the stuff that is going to make the the whole stew, yeah. All right. So we have the seasoning. The chicken was in. Add a little bit of water. Wash it out. A little bit. Top it in here. Done. And I said it was a one pot dish. Add some small potatoes yet. Potatoes have been washed and everything. And then add some tomatoes. People use sometimes uh, tomato ketchup. But I want to use the real tomatoes, which is going to be basically boiled down into the seasoning and make it really rich. And you guys know, we have some sorrel jelly. The only reason why I'm adding the sorrel jelly is because there's another special ingredient that I want to use. And we're going to keep it in the same line, the same check. Water makes a dish great and everything, but for the stew, but if you can make it richer, why not make it richer? Yeah, not cheap out. So we have here our sorrel, sorrel beer. I'm gonna add that. Add a bit more butter to finish off. Mix 
make sure that gets mixed in thoroughly. Then we have a closer down. We're gonna see how it looks. So already you can taste that it's gonna have a nice it too. The sorry jelly how I formulated that idea. Some person sometimes add a bit of sugar into their stew chicken. You ever said that before? Mm -hmm. People add sugar into the stew chicken to give it a little sweetness. Yeah, me use brown sugar. The brown sugar. Yeah, so the sorrel things. jelly is gonna have that sweetness, but then add some similarities with the beer. So what's left to do now? Just to cover it down. And call it a day. Put it in, ready? Yeah, man. Spoon can almost pop through them, you feel it, man. Put it to them, ready? Chicken done cooked already, must want the seasoning. Not the seasoning, I want the stew. Cook down a little bit more. So a nice gravy consistency. And it's gonna be time to eat, yeah? Aye. All right, so it's getting late, so we just took the tarp off, basically. And we have a lot more light now, so we can see what we're doing. Chicken is almost finished. I want it to be a nice, thick gravy. Or a lot less watery than this one. And we will be done. And we can head home. Done. Just about done. Just a little bit more. So that's it, nice and rich. Could boil out a little bit more, but it's getting late. So I want my cousin to try this. I know what it kind of tastes like already, so I don't have to kill myself on that. Get some of the gravy. Yeah, if it's tough, we can have some more. Yeah, man. Can't let it. <laughs> Alright, try it and let me know what it's like, cuz. I'm more you're honest, you know, whatever you're lying, you know. Be honest. I know you want it, I go with him again. Yeah. <laughs> different. 
different in a good way. Yeah. And I really like it. It goes back to what that's about um not doing not doing the same dish, doing the same dish but in a, in a different way. This is pretty club, trust me. I'm mean, gonna like oh my gosh the potato man. So oh, far nice. Got none to play. Chives. The chives give, give it a little Christmas type of buzz. The, the cloves? Cloves, yeah, the cloves, cloves, cloves. Mm -hmm. Alright, and that's gonna bring us to the end of this video. Yeah, I wanted to try the food, but it's getting a little bit late. I want to take it home and have it in the comfort of my house. You don't even know what that's like, yo. Been coming down here for the past two, three days, I believe. The trek up and down has gotten a little bit exhausting. However, I'm gonna go home, edit this video for you guys, and then we should be going to a nice little villa. It's been around for a couple years, I think about 80, 90 years. Don't quote me, I'll talk about that in the next video. And gain some relaxation there. I know some of you guys wanted to see some of the travel type content that I normally bring to you guys, so not just the outdoor cooking and stuff like that. And I know for a fact you're gonna enjoy it just as much as Kiana enjoyed eating that meal just now. But <laughs> if you like videos like these, remember to drop a like on the video. I definitely appreciate it, and I can work on more of those for you. Oh, I'm gonna be doing a super sick challenge here. I think I'm gonna be doing 24 hour challenge here, no food, no water. <laughs> Let's see how that goes. But anyway guys, remember these three things. Love, nature, adaptation, and always remember, keep the link. And if you enjoyed seeing Keanu in the videos, again, drop a like on it for Keanu. <laughs> keep the link.